Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's Khan's Vlogs. We're back with another video, you guys. Most anticipated car of like my life, his life. He's actually the one buying it. Um, actually is getting delivered today to Hanson Motors up here in Brigham City, Utah. And that car being our 2022 Cadillac CT5V Blackwing. However long it's been, it's, it's felt like an entire lifetime. But it's finally here today, you guys. We had some frustrations and complications with the shipping, as I'm sure a lot of the owners are having, you guys. But it's here, and we can't wait. And before we get into it, you guys, if you guys like the videos, if you like the content on the Blackwing, on the SS, if you're excited to see any of it at all, go ahead and smash that subscribe button down below. Share it. Tell your friends. I know this is one of the only channels on YouTube that you're going to be able to get a lot of the Blackwing content, um, and I'm super super lucky to be a part of that you guys so I'm gonna share it all with you as much as I can but yeah go ahead smash that subscribe button share the videos tell your friends uh, hit that like button that back one right there Ooh, so that one's my dad's car um, and then the red tin coat one on top is actually one that's going to Arizona uh, we know the owner of he used to have an SS um, oh my gosh I can't wait I can't wait so here it is, first look. There's the bronze calipers, satin graphite wheels. You can see the sky, sky gray interior on that shadow gray metallic. We got all the carbon fiber here. Whew, let's go. This is gonna be sick. I can't wait to hear it start up. Um, wow. Wow, 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 let's go. We got the big carbon wing that was part of carbon fiber package one. <laughs> You can hear the throttle body opening and closing and that blower whine even when he was just backing it up right there. All right, so they're gonna do the walk around, take a look around, make sure everything's good on it. Oh my gosh, look at this. The arrow right there and when... Oh my gosh, it looks better and sounds better in person. Now that it's actually here, I kind of can't believe it. That thing is nasty looking. It's so clean, it's sleek, but yet it's muscly looking. I mean, you can't find a four-door muscle car anymore. That's like the last of them. It, they did take it over here. They're spraying it off right now just to get some of the dirt off of it because it was pretty dirty from the transport. A week from today, we'll be dropping it off to get it protected and all that. But yeah, it's looking good. So now that it's clean, we can get a better look at that paint, that shadow, shadow gray metallic, I believe is what it was called. But there is like a lot of flake in it and I love it. This carbon fiber looks great. There's a better angle. You can see there the weave. So um, if you remember, we got the carbon fiber package one, which included uh, the splitter and the lower front pieces on the face of the car and then the spoiler uh it did not include the side skirts or the diffuser which is okay it really doesn't look like that off or anything the diffuser and the side skirts obviously still look really good and again this is hansen motors in brigham city utah you guys are taking good care of us they just washed off the car they've been super great to work with throughout the whole process the tracking um, obviously the specking of the car all that great stuff so we'll get that finished up tomorrow but it's been a really great experience with these guys down here so if you're in the market for a truck, a car, anything GM, go ahead, give these guys a shout. Um, the great dealership to work with. Look at that. Alcantara, that white, the ventilated seats here. 
So let's see. There it is right there. So it is um, a different supercharger lid versus the ZL1 and the ZL6. That adds a little bit more power because it has better cooling. Um, I believe, I've heard it has a separate pulley as well and then obviously it has a different intake with a freer flowing exhaust and that all creates that extra claimed 18 horsepower. Your hand built LT4, Anthony Terry, the man. Oh, so um, look here on the back, there's a map these are, these are of the proving grounds for Cadillac where they test the cars out for quality and whatnot. Um, so that's a cool Easter egg on the first 250. And then the back seats obviously have that ventilated white too. And these are the Blackwing logos you can see right there. V logos, um, you know, stamped in there. We did opt for the torch red seat belts too. It really matches the red stitching on the seats and the doors. Wow, carbon fiber everywhere. You can see right here on the steering wheel. So that has the VIN, so it has the engine and transmission code and then the VIN number. So eight for the LT4, six for the manual transmission, and then 15 is the VIN number of this. Right here, collector series. So this is part of the first 250 of them. And again, you get the, the engine code, transmission code with the VIN number 15. Some cool touches for the first 250 of them, you guys. Super, super cool. I believe the fours had the same thing going on too, um, but this is just the big boy four. Like I said in the last video, we need bald eagles. This is in there. Little Cadillac logo there on the, the handle. So much carbon. That display is really nice. That's sick. The Blackwing logo comes up. TR6060 manual with active rev matching. So these are actually uh, 3D printed. There you guys, so that is gonna wrap it up for today. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. We're gonna come back up, do all the paperwork, do all that, get the car prepped and ready to take it home, you guys. And also, I'm gonna be picking up my new to me car. It's not that new to you guys. You guys see it all the time, but it is new to me. I'm gonna be taking ownership of that officially tomorrow. Um, but this video is gonna be mostly about the Blackwing. The SS is gonna get its own video. So we're back now. It's the next day, obviously pretty quick transition for you guys. So last night when it came in, it had blocks under the suspension that gave it a little bit more ride height than it sits as right now. Obviously it dropped it like a whole inch. Um, we got all the plastic off the interior. So I'll show you that real quick. Yeah. All clean. I is, it, is it like 17? I think it's got 15. 15 speakers. speakers. So yeah, you got the white seats. Yep, and then uh, I didn't show you guys this yesterday, but this right here. So the suede backing on the seats with the V logo in it. Super, super cool. Just pretty. Just pretty, man. The square exhaust tips I was nervous about, honestly, because I don't like them on the C8. But the way this car looks, the profile of it with that diffuser, I think it fits it really, really well. And again, one of my favorite things about it, uh, the key color match to the caliper. And I, I, I mean, you guys tell me what you think. I get crazy G8 vibes from the body of this car. It looks like a G8. Just that stocky muscle car, a little bit oversized looking. It shouldn't be that fast, but that thing does look fast. That thing looks really fast, really elegant still, because it is the CT5. But that black wing package with obviously the wing, the exhaust tips, the splitter, all that good stuff, and the bigger tires just adds that extra aggressive factor. And then you get cool stuff like all the collector series edition stuff, and then the keys. Here are the keys side to side for a little bit of a size comparison. This right here. The SS key, obviously, a fifth-gen Camaro key. 
but it still has the flip and then the black one key. No flip. The bottom slides out, though, and gives you an actual key. But it's a bigger key. It feels a lot better built than the SS one, obviously, because it's a Chevy that's Cadillac. That is why you pay for a Cadillac badge, because Chevy is Chevy GM, and Cadillac is another level. So there it is. We just signed all the paperwork. Uh, it's officially his now. SS is officially mine now. But I gotta figure out which key is one and two. Blackwing might sound good, but uh, it's stuck. So, I'm home now, the SS is gonna stay parked now. We are gonna go for a ride in the Blackwing, finally. Looking good in the driveway. We've got the duo together here, the SS, the Blackwing. I don't even know how much horsepower this is. I didn't notice this. So this is actually for the V mode right here. So kind of like the C8, it has the V button on the steering wheel. And you can come in here and select um, all the settings, you know, individually. So obviously steering there, you can change it uh, to tour, sport, or performance for the heaviest. Suspension the same way, tour, sport. And then the engine sound, this was actually uh, really cool for me because the SS has the dual mode and I didn't know this, but this actually has four modes. So it has stealth, tour, sport, and then track being the loudest so it's actually there's actually four stages to the exhaust note which i did not i did not realize uh because you know the ss only has two and that's what i'm used to so there's a the menu on the far right has all the options for the display there's oh. different themes so there's a tour mode theme which focuses on the speedometer oh, time wow. and temperature sport mode focuses more on your engine RPM RPM your temperatures uh, but every one of these gauges is customizable as well so they're on the side I, re ones. I replaced oil pressure with boost pressure then you have a predefined track setting which focuses fully on gearing RPMs that one's sick and again you can control or configure each of the individual gauges within that or you can set it to link to the driver mode so that when you adjust your driving mode, it will change the display to whatever settings. Oh. So, it's so that's what hundreds. that does too, is changes the driving mode. Yes. We're gonna drive it. I'm gonna take it for a drive. I'm gonna let him record. I'm gonna take it for a drive, give you my first thoughts, impressions, stuff like that. So, all right, so first impressions, like just driving it for a little bit, like, it, it, it's like it reminds me of my fifth gen a lot the one le as far as the transmission goes and whatnot the handling is on another level it's so tight and so responsive as well as the throttle response uh i think this is my first time actually driving a car with an lt4 um, i've moved one around a parking lot before but that doesn't count uh it's a responsive engine and the low end torque i mean for just cruising obviously we can't get into it at all but for just cruising the low end torque is really there it would be hard to see or feel if you were lugging this thing at all. Um, but it's super tight. All the materials in it feel super well put together. The steering wheel looks huge, but actually has a really tight, sporty feel. And of course, it has the red stripe, the leather red stripe. Just a cool touch. And the active rev matching is pretty much the coolest thing I've ever felt in a car. It is instantaneous. A lot of people complain that it's too slow for them and that they like to do it themselves because it's faster. I don't buy that for one second. You're not, you're, you're not flipping the throttle faster than this thing does it. I mean, the more I drive it, the more impressed I am, you guys. The, the gauge is so cool. 
but I can't get over the rev matching and I know like a lot of you guys uh, it, that's not a huge deal and the suspension in this thing in V mode it is seriously like a very bumpy ride you feel everything in the road but when you put it in tour mode I mean it, it's a Cadillac it's it's smooth but more in-depth stuff coming with that you guys uh, this was just us taking the delivery and the first drive um, super super cool um, but yeah, so we're gonna take it home now and then uh, we'll do one final walk around and yeah But it, it drives better than I could have imagined It feels heavy for sure But I think part of that is because the steering is so precise and so tight um, Obviously, we won't be able to have a true tell while we're babying like this how much you can feel the weight Because based on all of the you know bigger youtubers reviews who have tracked this car they say that it's hard to believe that it weighs 4,200 pounds, um, but just driving it on the streets, I'm blown away with the, the rigidity, the, the, the quality of everything here, and the feel of how tight it feels and how solid, the sounds it makes, all that stuff is, is better than I expected. And I, I had high expectations for this car, and so far it's exceeding them. The other thing that I mentioned earlier was the, the 1,500 mile break-in period. So there's a lot of controversy going on about that, if it's 500 or 1,500, because the tachometer actually opens up the last like two, 3,000 RPMs after you hit 500 miles, just like the C8 Corvette. Um, but the owner's manual says don't track it until 1,500 miles. Um, but I'm pretty sure as far as street driving goes, you're good to go after 500 miles. Um, so I don't really know, obviously with it not being my car, I'm not gonna make the decision on that. First impressions, um, like I said, we didn't really have much to get on it or anything, but just so tight and so, everything about it is just spot on. I mean, you would not have thought that it was like a Cadillac from a performance standpoint. It's just mind blowing what this car is and how good it looks too. I love it. But you guys, that's gonna wrap up the video. Um, I mean, smash the subscribe button. We've got a one of the first 250 CT5V black wings here. We're going to try to get it on a dyno as soon as we do get that break in period. And of course, in the manual transmission, probably the last manual transmission car Cadillac will make. Um, just, it, it's, it's an icon and it's gonna be great and I can't wait to share the experiences that we have with you guys. We're not gonna garage queen that thing, it's gonna get driven. And uh, yeah, but next time we'll make a video going over that. We also need to make a video talking about the plans and the future of my new car, the SS. Um, but yeah, that's gonna wrap it up smash that subscribe button go ahead share it tell your friends like I said Very very few people are gonna be making YouTube videos on the black wings you guys and with it being such a cool car And so loved that V heritage. You're not gonna want to miss out